Well, today was a laundry day and all our clothes are lined up for drying and we even washed our shoes. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and it's all shiny and sparkly and all you know fragrance from the shoes and so smell one. Look oranges. So this is our friend Hisham's house. <laughs> Salam guys, we are in Shiraz and tonight we are taking an overnight bus from Shiraz to an island. But before that it's time to grab some dinner. So we have got fries and garlic bread and they are given three types of sauces. And all of that? And all of this for just one dollar. Right now we are on the western side of the city. And we have to make our way to the bus terminal to catch our bus. We booked our bus ticket online on suffer724.com which is like the most popular bus uh, booking website here. And uh, we can't really buy tickets on our own online because uh, you need to have a card, uh, an Iranian card to pay for it. Uh, so what we've been doing is mostly connecting with somebody who's local and then we pay them cash and request them to help us pay for the bus ticket. So we've done that and we've got our tickets online. And once you get to the bus station, we exchange that for a physical ticket. So we'll talk more about this when we get to the bus station. For now, we enjoy the snack. It's hot. Thanks. We are now on the public bus. And each person pays about 25,000 riyal, which is about 4 Indian rupees to get from anywhere to anywhere in the city. As you can see, all the men are sitting here and on the other side is the women's section. Off the bus. Ice cream time! So now we are at Momtaz. This is one of the most popular falafel shops here in Shiraz. And Naomit was like insistent that we come visit this place before we leave Shiraz. So here we are and Naomit is here with his big falafel so, sandwich. Sorry, correction. We had falafel here the other night but this one is called Kutlet. Kutlet sandwich. It's similar to our cutlet. It's made with potato and there's a lot of uh, salad and seasoning on it, which is very similar to what you get in the falafel side. Uh, they give you chili. Where now? Okay, let's play something. We just bought the metro ticket, it was like a coin and you had to drop it in while entering and it cost us 30,000 riyal per person which is like 4 and a half rupees. Yeah, now I have to find out which side, right? I uh, need the map. Where are we now, Shish? We are at the bus terminal. Our bus leaves in one hour. So we have lots of time for my ice cream. So we have right now come to the bus terminal. This is called Karandish bus station. And this is the main intercity bus station here in Shiraz. And this is also where we showed up the other day when we came from Isfahan on the night bus. So we are now going to look for Saloon 1, which is where the bus company that we booked the ticket with has an office. And we're supposed to show them our online ticket and get a physical one. So that's what we just learned and now we're walking. Just come to the counter and we're exchanging tickets. And this is what the waiting area looks like behind us. Oh, finally. 
کشم سر جریمه میکنی کشم So we are inside the sleeper bus and these are called VIP seats. So this is what it looks like. Two seats on one side and a single row on the other. And they fully recline. And this is the very back. No extra seats anywhere. And the leg room on these is insane. Just look at this. We gave our bags down to keep it under the bus. They gave us a token. So when we get down, we need to press in this token and they will give us the bag back. It's almost like Shish has her own personal living room there. <laughs> what do we have here? Trays. It looks like it can open a tray and... You know, it doesn't look very clean. Nah. And my armrest is broken. Good for you. How do I sleep at night? Some buses even give us like a juice box and some biscuits. I wonder what they can give us tonight. There's a TV there, which I'm pretty sure won't work today. So the, bus, so the buses have some really basic features. Like up here there's a AC vent and a few lights and also a USB port to charge. And of course the window is tinted and huge. And this is what it looks like when three people are in the room. <laughs> and buses in Iran are definitely very crazy. They are a lot bigger than you'd expect and but a lot cheaper too. I think that your know, bigger seats would be more comfort, but no, they're not actually that comfortable. I personally feel yeah, more it's... comfortable in those Vietnamese small buses. This is too large and too uncomfortable to fall asleep in. And the, the bigger challenge is sometimes the drivers begin to smoke and they will keep the window open in front and in the back because the engine's there the insulation is not very good so it gets really hot there and really cold there yeah, and if, if you're only sitting first, yeah, if, if you get the first two seats it's going to be really cold because the driver can open his window anytime he wants he can start smoking he can and, start then, playing and then he begins to drink tea because that keeps him awake while driving so it's a whole other level of drink and drive and sometimes the driving is definitely a lot faster than you would expect but because the bus is so comfortable in the back you'll never notice at some point you just feel <coughs> the cold breeze blowing towards you with some smoke in it and then you realize something's wrong yeah but the bus does stop some i think it, i think the bus stops at least somewhere twice on the journey right? yeah yeah and that's true suddenly you turn on all the lights in the bus and it, then you'll they're be like, definitely uh, not pleasant when it comes to making stops. This is, I think, a big difference you've noticed between buses here and buses back home. But uh, a lot of this suddenly stopping, loud blaring noises, I think it's just the same for every bus operator. It's not like pointing fingers at one. And even now, our 9 o'clock bus was cancelled and then they had to send us in another company's bus at 10 o'clock. But we are not even informed. We like, were struggling and yeah. worried. Like, if we miss this bus, it's like a lot of money which we will miss. Apparently, in Iran, it's very usual for buses to get delayed and for buses to get cancelled and rescheduled. A lot of our, uh, a lot of friends we have made here told us pretty much the same thing, and then they said welcome to Iran. So yeah, in that sense, it's quite similar to other parts of Asia where buses are delayed. So we just have to be prepared and move along with the flow, or get snacks like she like she has falafel sandwiches. And that. That's now.
So we've just got off the bus now because it's broken and we're waiting for another one to come. A replacement bus to take us. It's really cold now. That's why it's shaking. Change the bus again. Come out. It's morning. We've just reached Keshim Island. Our bus dropped off here. The city is called Dargavam. Dargavam. And the city is called Dargahan and uh, we are just trying to look for a place to stay for tonight. We still have not booked it and now we are just sitting on this rock and searching for it. I might just observe that the internet speed here is so much better than mainland Iran. So I'm just trying to upload one video. We feel so sad that we haven't been able to upload videos yeah. for almost three weeks now. When I'm uploading and I'm uploading one too. Every time it comes till like 50% or 60% and then it just fails. So this is my 7th or 8th time trying to upload. Oh my god! 100% completed! Video is uploaded! We will schedule it soon! And mine? 82% remaining! The first video that got uploaded in Iran. Finally we can share stuff from Armenia again and hopefully in the next couple of days we can get a few more up we just booked a taxi to Keshem city and the taxi has arrived sorry um, what's your name uh, my name is javed javed uh, do you get many visitors from india here no? indian people come here people in india yeah indian Kishim? Kishim, yes. yes. Uh. Merci. Merci. Ah, 
finally got a room. I think floor is wet, does it? Oh, fancy room, bro. It yeah. has air conditioning. All the rooms which we have stayed at. What's up, homies? All the houses or the rooms we have stayed at till now had heaters. This is the first time we are having a air conditioning which is used for cooling the room. Because now we are in very hot weather. We just have 30 minutes to quickly freshen up and leave. Because we're on a tight clock. Navneet is always rushing me. Thanks you guys for coming along and, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Is it fine? Yeah. Come this way. We need light in front of us, right? So 30 minutes to quickly freshen up and leave. Because we're on a tight clock. Navneet is always rushing me. Well, thanks you guys for coming along and we will see Shishira's you. Shishira's new name is Rashmi. Get it? And her best friend's name is Rashmi. Get it again?